툴툴 대지 막내 속마음은 예예 And a peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. Welcome to 2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. Allie, take it away. Well, guys, LeBron James, arguably the most versatile player in league history. He said, quote, I don't have a position. I'm not a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, a power forward, or a center. I'm just a ball player. I do a little bit of everything and whatever it takes to win. That's my job description. This guy's one of one, Allie. Thank you. Now we get a chance to check some stats for the last handful of seasons for LeBron James. And he's been locked in at the free throw line for sure. In the past five games, his percentage at the line is much better than it had been prior. Sometimes that's how it works. You just get that extra focus at the charity stripe. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. And it's DeRozan in at small forward. And for the Lakers, we've got Patrick Beverly, LeBron James out there with Thomas Bryant. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's Davis in at the five. Clark, we're really in the thick of the late season now, with everyone duking it out for playoff positioning. Yeah, exactly, Brian. I mean, this is a chance to help secure your spot in the league standing. So lower-rung teams are looking to fight their way up while the top teams are trying to hold on to their spots. Shot clock at three. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Chicago with the ball, coming off a win against the Blazers. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively, and they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by DeRozan. You know, one of the things we've seen DeRozan do, guys, is elevate his passing game through the years. Now he's a terrific distributor at the two-guard spot. James against DeRozan with a nine-footer. The shot by James, no good. About a minute played here so far in the first. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams still looms large. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. The Lakers have gone one for three so far. Westbrook, the pass to James. Over to Rosen, and James gets it to go. It feels like once you get a taste of winning, you never want that to end, Grant. But the reality is, for most franchises, it does end for long periods of time. I hope the fans do appreciate this current Bulls team. There's something to be proud of. And here are the Bulls now. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Westbrook with it. He's averaging more than 12 a game. Consistent threat on offense. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's James. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. Bryant is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 260 LBs, and there's nothing extra there. So he can physically impose his will and flat out dominate near the rim. Levine finds ball. DeRozan against James. Vucevic. And it's blocked by Davis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Levine against Beverly. Levine passes to Vucevic. You know, defensively, Anthony Davis might be the most versatile big guy in the league. I mean, this guy does a nice job not only blocking shots, but challenging shots as he did there. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. 
And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Outside Levine. Pass to Williams. The shot's good. Williams has got his second basket. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. The Lakers have gone four of six in the first quarter. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion, you may have put him over the top. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Last year, they made easy work of this club, sweeping the two-game season series. They may have wished for more games against them, a definite disparity in talent. We'll see if they take advantage again tonight. Davis misses. Good shot, gone bad. Got to finish there. Here's Ball. It's hauled in by Beverly. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Westbrook. Baseline try. That one's wide left. The Bulls have gone just three for seven here at the start. On the wing, Levine. Here's Vucevic. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. And this game is tied up now. Now, here is James. In his last outing with 12 points. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Toscano Anderson, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Reeves comes in for James. Walker, he's checked in for Beverly. And Nunn is subbed in for Westbrook. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Andre Drummond is checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. Dasumu, he's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for ball. Here's Drummond. Drummond with the jam. Boy, a little contact will not deter Drummond. I mean, he gets physical right back and finishes strong. The Lakers have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. None. The pass to Bryant. Off target from outside. And the Bulls shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Here's Desumu. Walker with a steal. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's none. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Drummond. Outside, Green. Here's Desumu. On the wing, Levine. Back to Green. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Hey, here's none for three. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Tie game in Los Angeles. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. second quarter fairly close game so far guys what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one well a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass oh there's no doubt about it guys without those second chance points this game would have had a much different feel to it Lonnie Walker is out there with Kendrick Nunn then it's Juan Toscano Anderson then it's Thomas Bryant and it's Reeves in at the three that's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter and he can't get the first one. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, 
there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Brown comes in for none. Shot is good by Reed. Put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's DeRozan. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And it's good for two. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow. It's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Ocevic, he's checked in for Chicago. Williams comes in for Green. Now Walker. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Caruso. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, the Bulls are a force once again. Zach Levine said, quote, it's a new team, a new mindset, and I'm always confident. You step on the line, throw the ball up, and I don't think anybody's better than us. Guys, they're ready. And they've got the talent to back it up, Allie. Thanks. Here's Walker following the bucket by the Bulls. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Chicago. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in. And in any season, you'll have your struggling teams. Clark is a competitor. How hard is it to bring your best when you're enduring a tough stretch? Well, I think it comes down to the responsibility you have to yourself and your team to give it your best shot. And competitors want to compete, and you have to relish that, even when you have the deck stacked against you. So weathering adversity and still being professional and committed to competing, I think is the mark of every pro, should be the mark of every pro. And the Lakers have possession after the basket by Chicago. Pass to Reeves, to the wing, right side. Shot from 12. That went off the back iron and out. Chicago leading. To the middle. Williams misses. Bad offense against bad defense. The play looked as ugly as you'd imagine. Here's Reeves. Back to Toscano Anderson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. As for the Lakers, you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. Beverly, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Westbrook comes in for Walker. DeRozan finds Vucevic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Troy Brown picks one up. And Vucevic enjoys throwing his weight around now. At 260 LBs, he's really good at finding ways to get to the line. That one misses. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And you know, very quietly, Vucevic puts up phenomenal numbers consistently. A nightly double-double threat who... You know, bullies opposing defenses on the regular. For Chicago, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. DeRozan outside. Pick by Vucevic. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got four assists in the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. That one falls. I tell you what, that's pretty clever engineering by Westbrook in the pick and roll. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Some changes now for the Lakers. Bryant, he's checked in for James. And none is subbed in for Brown. The Bulls have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Levine against Beverly. Here's Drummond. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Drummond's got seven. They're playing 
great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Here's Westbrook. After the basket by Chicago. Nunn finds Beverly. Nunn with a screen on Levine. Down to five on the shot clock. Beverly for three. Doesn't go for him. Now Chicago takes it the other way. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. The first free throw is good. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Toscano Anderson. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Ball against none. Kicks it out to Westbrook. 55 seconds left to play in the second quarter. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Levine passes to Green. Here's Drummond. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Drummond's got seven now in this quarter. A true center, a throwback center. Drummond is not a guy who jacks up three. Andre wants to eat inside. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That'll be a second foul of the game. Reeves has checked in for Westbrook. Goes up off the inbound. And he slams it in one-handed. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Levine can't hit. Yeah, he just flat-out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. None against Ball. 11 seconds left in the second. Just five to shoot. Pass to Davis. Shoots a fadeaway. Can't hit that one. Good idea with the fadeaway. The defense was just all over it. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Bulls out in front. They're up by four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Billy Donovan here with us now. And coach, your team finishing the first half in impressive fashion. What's working for you out there? Yeah, well, I think we got some stops. We played good defense, allowed us to get out uh, in transition. That was helpful. So uh, just got to keep grinding away. Defense has been their anchor so far. We'll see if they can keep it up, guys. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. And looking around the league as we welcome you tonight. Lots of action unfolding. Let's check it out. For the Dallas Mavericks, they have the lead against the Hornets at Spectrum Center. The outcome there almost decided with the game in the fourth quarter. This one has not been close. Nothing to see here but carnage. Let's switch gears to the Chicago Bulls. They're in a tight one after the first half. Man, I'm just looking at these assist totals, man, and they've done a nice job of sharing the rock, man. Unselfish play, man. That's my type of basketball. Kenny does have the best assist numbers on this set. Nope. Yeah. Yes, Shaq, he does. Whatever. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Man, we've seen Andre Drummond really having a great game. Well, he really outdid himself in that first half. Stepped up and gave them a big lift. Well, you know what? They've given him an increased role tonight, and he's taken full advantage of it. And for Chicago, let's take a look. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. 
Levine and DeRozan, the star-studded wings. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. The Lakers trail. James outside. Here's Davis. And he comes up with a bucket. Davis has got six. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. And for Chicago, they're shooting at a very efficient 67%. Up top, Levine, Beverly defending. Williams' shot is good. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And so it's the Lakers with it. After the basket by Chicago. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Westbrook, and Westbrook slams it home. Westbrook has tremendous elevation for a guard. So athletic, and not only does he get high up in the air, he's strong while he's up there. Outside Levine. On the take, and Levine throws it down. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Walker, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Bulls also making a change. Caruso, he's checked in for Ball. Pass to Bryant. Back to James. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. Now here's Levine. Six points for him. Williams misses. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Just for the tie! And he can't get that one. Only their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. Levine finds Caruso. Pass to Vucevic. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, that assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size. Club. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only <laughs> player taller than LeBron to lead the league in assists, Wilt Chamberlain. When you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been LeBron's finest season. Toscano Anderson, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Brown comes in for Anthony Davis. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Now here's Levine. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. James with a steal. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Toscano Anderson. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. Williams passes to Vucevic. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. Vucevic has got five points now in the quarter. Boy, established his position with a strong base. You got to box out Vucevic better than that. James against Vucevic with the 10-footer. Caruso grabs the board. The Bulls have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Pass to Vucevic. Caruso outside. Now Williams. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Williams has got eight points. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. James, a screen on Caruso. Outside, Brown. Here's James. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. He's got 11.
seven. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget, but in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Reeves has checked in for the Lakers. None comes in for Westbrook. The Bulls have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Green finds DeRozan. Green, a screen. DeRozan with the ball. Picked up by James. Green, the pass to DeRozan. Tipped away. James with a steal. We've got 123 left to play in the third quarter here. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Here's Green. Oh, nice D from Walker. The Lakers have gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to James. To the inside. Here's Toscano Anderson. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. James against Green. There's 42 seconds left in the third. They get it back. You can't ask for a cleaner look than that. He just couldn't deliver it. Here's DeRozan. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. DeRozan is deceptive in his height and quickness, so I think it makes him hard to guard, especially from this area. He misses the free throw. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for LeBron. Bryant comes in for Toscano Anderson. And it's Beverly in for Walker. And the second free throw is good. Well, the elevated playmaking from DeRozan has been a revelation of late. An all-around threat who still feels underappreciated by many, and I think that drives him quite a bit. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Down low. Stolen by Davis. And it's the Lakers on the break. Beverly for three. Nails it from three. It's a tie ball game. I like watching Beverly catching the defense by surprise there. Excellent at pulling up after the pass. Buried from outside. I don't know. I think we may get a review here. That was close. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are. The previous play is under review. It's the ball before the buzzer or not. Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time, but I think it's going to count. Yeah, that's how it looked to me, and that's the call we should see here, but no harm in going back to the footage and making absolutely certain. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take a second look and make the right call. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Bulls out in front, up by three. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. We've got Davis, Kendrick Nunn out there with Patrick Beverly. Then it's Thomas Bryant, and it's Reeves in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Hey, here's Nunn for three. Williams grabs the board. Chicago leading. Right side, Levine. Pass to Vucevic. The shot that time, not on target. Davis with the defensive effort. Beverly outside. He 
Here's Davis. Williams defending. Shot from the wing. And Davis gets it to go on the assist from Beverly. You know, unlike a lot of bigs, Davis doesn't have to operate inside. He's totally confident in his ability to do damage from the perimeter. Outside Levine. Pass to Williams. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Bulls lead by three. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Nikola Vucevic has come to play here in this one. He just continues to deal damage inside. They've got to figure a way to slow him down. And some changes here for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Reeves. And it's Walker in for Beverly. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Lakers coach was going over with his guys. With it being such a tight game, he tried to lighten the mood in the huddle, saying, quote, it's just a game, guys. Have fun. Stay loose. Let it fly. I believe in you guys. Let's see if that laid-back approach works. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Now here's Levine. Williams misses. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. And the foul on Alex Caruso. That'll be a second foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. And a change for the Bulls. DeRozan is checked in. Davis, the pass to Jane. And again, the Lakers, no good. For Chicago, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. And it's Williams off the drive. Basket's good. In this fourth quarter, he's been locked in, and he's made some big shots for his team. For Los Angeles, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. James passes to Bryant. Davis with it. Over Williams. Davis misses. DeRozan against James. Outside, Williams. Here's Vucevic. Excellent D there from Davis. The Lakers trail. Outside, Walker. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Williams in the post. Walker covering. Williams misses. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting pretty well at 45%. Walker passes to James. Oh, and a jam by James! There is no doubt about who they were going to on that one. Of course not. LeBron coming through. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's Williams. Inside. Stolen by Davis. We've got a minute 48 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to James. Back to Davis. Over ball. And he can't bank that one in. Well, the Bulls shooting 59% on this one. A good average. Williams finds DeRozan. Williams is screened on Bryant. DeRozan passes to Williams. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. DeRozan's got five assists in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And the Bulls making a change here. Drummond's checked in. Pass to Davis. Fades and shoots. And he's now six for 11 after that one. AD staring him down and letting him know. This ain't over yet. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're up by one. 1-11 left to play in the fourth. Outside, Williams. Williams with the screen. Levine passes to Williams. And no good. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Pass to Walker. Now Davis. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Six on the shot clock to take the lead. 
How about that swat by Drummond? Using all of his height and bounce to deny the offense there. Williams passes to DeRozan. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on LeBron James. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And you know the defense gets their money's worth from that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And DeRozan wants the rock in his hands in close game. I mean, he embraces the opportunity to come up big for his team. Beverly, he's checked in for the Lakers. He missed the chance to put him up by three. You know he'd like to have that one back. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Twenty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Back to Williams. Ball passes to DeRozan. To the paint. Stolen by Davis. Pass to Beverly. Westbrook with a screen on Levine. Back to Davis. To take the lead. And close on the shot, even with the foul. Now two free throws. It's going to go on Andre Drummond. And you have to try to make something happen. I mean, they have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. I agree. I mean, he would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. So it's a narrow victory for the Lakers. Pulling it out for the W. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Hey there, Anthony. That was a tale of two halves. What started working for you there? Start playing defense. Start playing defense in the second half, played the right way. Um, we start sharing the ball. We start playing a little bit more pace. And we've been able to get the lead. You know, in the first half, and we wasn't playing deep, and we wasn't talking. And, you know, we came out in the second half and just kind of took it away and just made sure that you know, we were aggressive on the defensive end. I know you have high standards defensively. Glad you turned it around. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game. Anthony Davis.